This problem is very similar to the daredevil problem in the uh, previous few slides back. So we're gonna do it slightly different. Now this stunt man is going from one building to another that's two and a half meters um, to the side and two meters down. But we're gonna go ahead and say that the initial position of the stunt man is just zero, zero. So y naught is gonna be zero. Y final is then gonna be negative. 2.0 meters because it's going to be 2.0 meters down from the initial position. X initial is going to be zero and the final X is going to be 2.5 meters to the right. Now there's also a few things that we can deduce from the situation and that is the stuntman's on earth. So the acceleration in the X direction is zero. Accelerations in the Y direction is always negative G. And uh, the initial velocity um, is going to be zero in the y direction since the stuntman's going from one rooftop to the other in a parabolic shape. What we need to find is the initial velocity in the x direction such that he makes it. If he can't make it, then that's the problem. So we need to find the minimum velocity in the horizontal direction as he's going from one roof to the other such that he goes to that roof and doesn't fall down to the city streets. So first I'm gonna find which equation has this unknown very, uh, parameter and all the known parameters um, in one equation. Hopefully we can get one equation, get this over with uh, from just one formula. Unfortunately, uh, I already know this problem, it's not going to happen. So X final is equal to X naught plus V naught X delta t plus one half ax delta t squared. Let's go ahead and get rid of a few things. x naught is zero. a of x is also zero. That leaves with x final equaling to v naught x times delta t. What we need to find is v naught x. What we know is x final. And uh-oh, what we don't know is delta x. So this looks like a side quest. All right, so to get delta t, uh, again, since delta t is kind of a universal parameter, we can use the y component. So we know that the stunt devil is going to go from um, one building to another in a parabolic shape going down, right? So that being the case, we can use the y component of his motion. So let's go ahead and do that right now by using the same equation. And it so happens that the same equation works out. So now what we want to find is delta t, knowing the parameters given in this, in this given area. Okay, we know y naught is zero because we defined it that way. And we know that the initial y velocity is also zero. So now we have final y is one half a y delta t squared. And let's go ahead and isolate delta t by putting it off to the left and making everything else to the right. So delta t is gonna be the square root of two y final divided by a y. Okay, and this just happens because I multiply both sides by two, and then I divide both sides by a sub y, and then I take the square root of both sides, and then I just flipped it around since I put everything off to the left first and t is to the right. I just flipped it around to make t to the left. It's just because I feel more comfortable solving uh, something that's to the left for some reason. Putting this all into a calculator, well, we know that yf is negative 2.0 and a y is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, and this is just meters. And since negative and a negative uh, cancel each other out, this is great so that we can take a square root. It's not an imaginary number. And uh, this comes out to be 0 0.6388765678. Five seconds. I couldn't find a good way to reduce this down to a, uh, a, a smaller number so or a less decimal place number. So I'm going to keep it like that for now and then we'll just reduce it later. Okay, 
side quest is over. Let's go back to our main objective. Uh, we have this equation, but we're solving for V not X. So let's isolate that by bringing T to the other side. So V not X is equal to X final divided by Delta T. We need to know this. We know this and we know that. X final is going to be 2.5 meters and delta T is going to be 0 0.63887 Plugging it into your calculator, you're going to get finally 3.913 and that's a good place to stop with four sig fix. The funny thing is that on the multiple choice, it says the closest answer is 3.9 meters per second. So technically, if you were to pick this, the stuntman would have fell short of his minimum requirement and he would have actually plummeted to his death. So I guess, uh, I know technically you don't want to pick 3.9 because that's below this minimum, but in multiple choice questions, you usually just want to pick the closest answer. Now, if you get this wrong, uh, that's something you can argue about since it was a very, kind of a uh, sinister, <laughs> cynical, if you will, cynical uh, way of putting a problem.